Now you're wondering, what do I need a filler panel for? Well, if you have that unsightly gap from the top of your bumper to the bottom of your grill. So this here filler panel actually works to cover that up. The cool part about it is it's 100% bolt-on and it's got these etch marks on it to show you where you have to trim for whether you have a one or two inch body lift. If you've got a three inch body lift, there's no trimming involved. You simply bolt it to the bottom of the grill, paint it, and you're done. Now they also came out with a filler panel for the rear. Now here's the cool part. If you've got a one inch body lift, you just simply get a one inch filler panel. If you've got a two inch body lift, then you get this one instead. Before you buy the rear filler panels, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the correct body gap. Now keep in mind, not all body lifts are the same. So if you have a one inch body lift, you wanna make sure you have an inch and seven eighths of clearance for this filler panel. If you have a two inch body lift, make sure you have two and seven eighths inches of clearance from the, from the top of your frame to the bottom of your tailgate. It literally just slides in between the top of the frame and the bottom of the tailgate. Now, you're gonna wanna grab yourself a small hammer just in case the filler panel is a little tight. You'll wanna tap the ends in right here. Tap them in nice and tight. Fold them in as tight as you can, just so that they're just like this, just nice and flush, just like that. If you need a little more clearance with your body, then just come over here with your hammer and just lightly tap. All right, so now you're about to install the filler panel. A few things you need to know is orientation. You see there's two holes right here that are slotted. Those two holes are gonna go directly above your frame horns, and that's how you're gonna mount this panel to the frame. From here, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to slide this into position. It's gonna be a little bit tight, so you're gonna to wanna to use a hammer to kinda of knock it right into place. Now, before you go any further, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you open up your hatch, drop your tailgate, and make sure that your tailgate still clears this filler panel before you bolt it in. Do you really wanna get this panel fully mocked up before you actually decide to prep and paint it. Either use the optional hardware supplied by James Duff or get your own hardware and test fit and make sure it all fits good. On the top, you're gonna to use the smaller washer and you're gonna feed the bolt through. Now, you can do this reverse and you can put it in from upside down, but then you gotta hold it in place. So what I do is I feed this in from the top and then I feed the bigger washer in from the bottom along with the nut. So once you have it painted and mounted, you're done. Just go ahead and mount up those bolts and away you go. Moving on to the front, I wanna show you close up just how you wanna map this out. Because with a one inch body lift, you're gonna be removing the most amount of material. Now, you should be able to see that there are etched lines in the panel. I know it's kinda of hard to see, so I'm actually gonna map that out for you. So, Like I said, there's an etched line already in the panel that helps you make sure that you cut it perfect. If you have a two inch body lift, you actually don't need to remove this section right here. This here is for one inch only. So there you go, one inch only. Now here's the deal. There are two ways you can go about doing this. You can either just go ahead and remove all the material or you can actually leave a quarter inch of the material behind like this if you want. If you leave that quarter inch of material behind, you can fold it over and make the panel even a little more stiffer. So you could leave all that material there and fold it over if you'd like, make it like a pinch seam, kind of like the backside is, and rigidize it even more. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all this material, and the reason I'm gonna do that is because this panel has a radius to it. And because of that radius, the panel is pretty strong as it is. How I'm going to remove this material is the most important part. I'm gonna do it by using a center punch and a drill. I wanna go ahead and punch a hole in each corner. I'm gonna use a block of wood from the back side of the panel, and then I'm gonna drill the hole through the wood, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to cut it all off. Then I go to the other side, and I also draw it out just like I did the first side. Now, this side here has less material to be removed. It's literally just a couple rectangles stacked on top of each other. All right, 
right, so I went ahead and cut all those pieces out. And when you get done cutting them out, you wanna make sure that you run a file or a whiz wheel or something over this so it's nice and smooth. Get all the hard edges off, smooth it out, make it all straight and nice. And then from there, you're gonna test fit it on the Bronco. As you can see, that fits really nice. Now, in order for you to drill the holes and get this mounted, you're gonna to wanna to grab a Sharpie. See where all these holes are, you're gonna go ahead and make a mark straight off the center of these holes and then come down to the edge like this. So I made a mark where these holes are and I'm gonna just bring this to down to the edge so I can see when this is mounted, where those holes line up on the grill. Once I see where, they're, where they are, you can either put some tape here if you've got a nice freshly painted grill or you can make a mark on your grill where each hole is. Then you're gonna remove the filler panel and you're going to measure from the edge here to the center of the hole and you're gonna make that mark down there underneath the grill. Now, that's where you're gonna know where to drill your hole. Do that on all seven holes on the filler panel. And then once you've got the holes drilled, you'll take the optional hardware that you bought from James Duff, or you'll take the fasteners that you supplied and you'll go ahead and mount that up. Thanks everyone for joining us at the Bronco Garage. That's the conclusion to mounting the James Duff filler panels. Make sure on this front one that you paint it and then mount it and everything is gonna look amazing. We'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below. I wanna see what you guys are working on. Let me know what you think about these filler panels. We'll catch you next time.